I why did I get this phone? Like I'm so angry, but then I still bought the phone. Have your account. Any account you want. I'm the type of person that I say send your account. I'll ask you which bank or what bank so that I don't get to spend a lot of money when she's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad if Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If today is your first time stopping by, welcome. My name is Patricia. Please kindly subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So today I'll be showing you guys what's on my phone. I recently got the iPhone 13 Pro Max in the color gold. This is the box of the phone. I... Why did I get this phone? Honestly, <laughs> I'm trying to remember why I got this phone. So I was having issues with my iPhone X Max. It fell. So the screen was really slow and I didn't want to change the screen. So I was like... I'll just get a new phone instead so initially to be honest my plan was to get the iphone 12 pro max but then when i got to the shop and i saw that the difference between the iphone 12 pro max and the iphone 13 wasn't that much so i decided to get the iphone 13 pro max instead Anyways, the pack is quite basic to, to my opinion. Not like I was expecting it to come in a Dorime kind of box. But no knockout, no Dorime. No, is it you that is paying for it in Abara? But it's just basic. Literally, this on it. There is this iPhone written in the back. It's just there. It's just telling you that um, iPhone 13 Pro Max and USB C power adapter and headphones sold separately. So it didn't come with an adapter. But like, I'm so angry, but then I still bought the phone. I mean, we're buying this phone for that amount without an adapter, really. This is not an unboxing video because I've started using my phone. I got it like a few months ago, but this is the box of the phone. And when you open it, it just, this is the receipt. And then this was what was on the phone. It came with this stuff that has you know that thing you used to change your sim or whatever so like i was saying it came with a usb type c and then that's the only thing that came with this phone honestly no airport no adapter really iphone apple really anyways this is just the pack of the phone so this is the phone while this is my clear case i don't really not like i do want to get a fancy case but i've not really seen any so in the meantime i'll just be using the clear case yeah so i'll start recording my lock screen i have this wallpaper it's just a hand picture i took of myself and somebody's son and when you come to this the first home page i have the weather okay um it's showing on this weather it's actually showing beijing because ever since i started using an iphone i've always cloned my old phone to a new phone so whenever i get a new phone i usually just clone what cloning means like I move whatever is on my old phone to the new phone. So this phone is actually acting as if I'm still in China. Aside the weather widget, I have the map here. And then I have the calendar. I have the music. And then I have this Bible verse. Um, it usually comes up here. After the psalm, I have this dictionary. I've been using this dictionary. This is literally my favorite dictionary far back it gives you like the word of the day so when you go to the next one you have a picture of myself this is the color of my hair underneath this week by the way so um beside that is my productivity app my productivity app basically have my messages my facetime my dictionary and my safari app and then i have utility app you just have random apps honestly i really didn't think so much of this folder when i was creating it i just wanted to reduce the, the apps that was appearing on my home screen so i just tossed them inside this utility app you just have the wallet the clock my health app app store contact itunes be my eye i don't know why i downloaded this app but it's been here for a while so aside the utility app i have my book app that i haven't been reading i have not been reading these books in fact most of these books i've not even read them so i just have my book app yeah and then my notes, music, camera, and I have my Bible app. Underneath, I have my phone, mail, settings, and Chrome app. 
the next slide i have this clock widget it consists of four major countries that my friends are in like if i want to talk to them i always have to check okay what time is it and then my shopping apps this is Aling baba that's a chinese shopping app called 1688 this is tabao though i'm having issues with my tabao i've not been able to shop for some time now and then i have my buy the translate made in china which i use for like um bulk orders i have jd app alipay aliexpress and then my shen app that has been eating my money now and then i have this podcast widget the next slide i have home screen wallpaper is a picture of my sister sorry i forgot i was screen recording these are my social apps i have my whatsapp business that's still my chinese phone number i have my wechat my personal whatsapp with my nigerian phone number i have my snapchat tiktok i'm on tiktok guys i made a video of my phone when i got it i'll put it here please follow me on tiktok i'm not really active on tiktok honestly but i'm there so you know tiktok is quite fun and then i have the instagram my twitter facebook pinterest then I have my creativity apps. These are the apps I use to edit pictures, videos, and do a lot of things. So I have the CapCut, Femora, iMovie, Supreme Pose. I use it to do my thumbnails. They are just editing apps, basically. The next folder is my movie folder that has my Netflix, Showmax. Guys, Showmax is popping now because they are showing, um, what's that reality show? the real housewives of lagos please if you watch the real housewives of lagos please leave me a comment we need to talk like we have something to talk about like i was saying it has the show max app my go tv i use it to recharge go tv of course my youtube app youtube studio to body it just has that and then the next folder is my ride <laughs> i don't know why i named it this but it's just rides app it basically has the boat um uber and rider app these are movement apps that's why they are right up the next slide has my finance guys let me do this with style i have an account with gtb zenith first bank access fcmb kuda bank op that's paycom piggy vest butter by flutter wave i have all these accounts basically almost 10 accounts and it's only like 5k that is in my pocket right now and with pride, I'm going to open UBA account and stamp big IBTC. Account, well, I'm the type of person that I say, send your account, I'll ask you which bank or what bank so that you don't get to spend a lot of money when you want to send me urgent 2K. So after my finance app, I'm so shameless right now. After my finance folder, I have my travel folder. So this travel folder basically has my trip.com where I go to check like hotels around the world and you know tickets and then i have the airbnb app i have google app google map app um gigm that's um god is good motors app airpiece for flights um and true color just basics and then i have my music app shazam spotify i have this metronome because i was learning how to play guitar so my teacher asked me to get the metronome i have my business app of course i have wps my converter i use it to like convert currencies in case customers ask me what's the what's the rate and that you know yeah and then i have my cam scanner my zender and this boss app i like this boss app because it helps you take inventory of your business like you get to write the amount of money you make every week you know and kind of arrange it so that's just it i have a lot of apps actually quite a number of apps so this is just what's on my phone yes and i wanted to share with you guys because why not so guys um we've come to the end of this video if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel to support me and give me the ginger to be consistent and turn on your not <sighs> this is hard and turn on your notification button to get notified whenever I post. Please don't forget to connect with me. My socials are in the description box. Shoot me a message on IG. Let's be friends. Let's just tell me what you want. You know, I also give like online YouTube classes. Like if you're a beginner, if you want to start YouTube, if you want to learn how to edit. I'm not charging for it yet because I do it at my leisure. Like I said, I have my personal business. One of the most important and one of the most exciting things for me right now is the fact that I finally registered my business and it kind of has a structure, you know, it's actually quite fulfilling. So yeah, so I'm just into my business right now.
please let's be friends on instagram though i don't post as often as i should but i'm always online let's be friends send me a message on instagram follow me on tiktok like i said i'm not popular on tiktok so i'm trying to get followers you know so let's be friends i follow back oh really like if you follow me you think uh-uh is this an automatic follow button instantly i follow back please i'm not that if please i'm not trying to shade anybody but i just follow back just know sure that when you follow me i'll follow you back please anyways thank you guys for watching see you guys in my next video until then stay blessed and stay beautiful <laughs>